Now, all three bikes on tonight's show have different final drive systems, so which one do you choose? Well, most of us will be most familiar with chain and sprockets, like the one on this Kawasaki. Chains have been used on the back of motorcycles for almost a century now, and they have the advantages of being light, strong and cheap. However, they do wear out, and on a long trip they'll need constant adjustment and lubrication to keep them running as they should. Now on a shaft drive system like this one we have a prop shaft like this which fits inside the swinging arm here. The front end of the prop shaft connects to the back of the gearbox and the other end of the prop shaft fits into this bevel box here which drives the rear wheel. It's a big, strong and very dependable system but it's also quite heavy which makes it more suitable for touring bikes rather than sports bikes. Without wishing to say too much about tonight's third choice of bike, Harley Davidson used a tooth rubber belt for final drive like this one. It's light, strong, clean and dependable and it should last for at least 40,000 miles. However, if you do need to fit a new belt, you'll need to dismantle all the clutch and primary drive and remove the rear suspension to fit it. All three systems have the pros and cons, so it's just one other thing to think about when choosing your dream bike.